What's up, everyone? It has been a month. It's been a while. Um, I don't know if you can tell by looking around my room from what little you can see from your fixed vantage point. Actually, let's do this. Oh, there we go. Hi. Right, so my room is, let's say, more than a little bit of a mess. I have a number of things going on. Um, so we're actually going to start today's video off with a little bit of cluttered noise, uh, with a little bit of room cleaning. Because well, one of my professors is retiring and moving to California, so she's getting rid of a lot of stuff. So I picked up some of it yesterday, and I need to find space for it. So step one is going to be organizing. Um, yeah, it's, it's, been a, it's been a busy month. I went to Utah for, well, Utah and Denver. Um, Utah didn't pan out. Denver was awesome. Met up with Matt Marash in Columbus, which was really cool. Uh, I've been developing a bunch of film, um, both for myself and for some of my classmates, which has been going well. Um, a little copy stand set up for some DSLR scanning. Um, fixing cameras. Got a Mamiya 645 lens that the feels like the helicoid is frozen. So we're going to take a look at that at some point. Um, you know, normal stuff. Trying to wrap up the semester. Trying to figure out what we're doing with the checkout room so that I can get home uh, as soon as possible. Because uh, I like Ohio. I would like to see my family a little bit. Anyways, first things first. I gotta sort this stuff out. So, see you guys in a minute. Ugh. Starting with clothes. Looks close enough. All right, so room's cleaner. Got some stuff put away. Projects cleaned up out of the off of my desk space. Let's start bringing in some new items, and we'll uh, talk a little about, I guess, what I got to pick up. Uh, first thing, got some mail. Um. Wish I knew where my pocket knife was. There it is. All right. Mail. Like I said, I've been developing some film lately, mostly black and white. Uh, a little bit of C41. But I also would like to be able to do some slide film because uh, I have some. I shot some uh, when I went out to Utah. And I've got some friends who actually just got two bricks of expired um, ectochrome. So I picked up uh, just a little home developing kit for E6. That once I guess I have enough bottles of film around, I will be developing and some bottles. Cool. One empty box. Let's go bring in some fun stuff. So I have the Epson 4880. 
Um, prints up to 17 inches wide. Uh, my professor who's leaving runs the art gallery downstairs, our building, uh, and has you know, prints her own work. So she's accumulated a lot of paper, which is heavy and cumbersome to transport. So uh, it is now my problem that I get to live with until I print it. So it'll join the stack I have in my closet. Um, I'm picking you guys up again. Hang on. Oops, a daisy. So don't mind the laundry and the film hanging up in the closet. Um, as you guys can see down there, yeah, I've got a couple of box of 25 sheets of 17 by 25 and some 13 by 19. Uh, got a few boxes leaned up by the bed that I need to put back down. Got a box of 250 sheets of eight and a half by 11. I like my matte finish papers. Um, I got some more different things I can play around with. So that'll be fun. I think that's more or less where it was. All right. But wait, there's more. There's a little desktop mat cutter. There's an ancient Domkey F2. Um, might do a comparison video between this bad boy and my newer one that I picked up before I started the program so I could lug all my stuff around. In addition to the F2, I have a much smaller satchel style donkey and two little additional pouches. So these things are sweet. Some little transportation cases. Uh, I don't know if we've talked about it a whole lot. I'm a big fan of camera bags and boxes of all sorts. Very useful for moving things around. Um, I have a number of camera bags, so made sense that I would pick up a few extra. Case in point, this giant bag. Oh, but that's not all, because within this giant bag, I've got some bag dividers. Bag dividers. Nikon branded coffee mug. Um, I shoot Nikon. So I was very overjoyed to see that there was a lot of Nikon swag. Everyone's got to have at least one lens thermos, right? I like this one because it's aggressively Nikon branded. Let's see. Nikon luggage tag, Nikon patch, Nikon key ring, giant Nikon sticker, a Nikon branded craft blade. We need cut Canon users, a Nikon pen. Can I even? Fancy. Some more fun stuff. Toilet paper holder. Looks like film canister. A TLR shaped pencil sharpener. Extra cable release because cable releases are important. A Nikon business card holder. It's just a nice little metal business card holder. Tiny little magnifier. Work well with a light table. Checking prints. I already have a couple. Um, but they're in Georgia, so free is free. Some Calcuchrome and uh, bubble film, bubble gum, Fruity Chrome. Fruity Chrome? Fruity Chrome. There's nothing negative about bubble film. OU Viscom lanyard, little Nikon brass desk plate. I thought that was cute. And uh, I mean, this whole bag. It's pretty cool. Lots of places to store things. Seemed like a pretty decent get. Good way to carry a bunch of stuff around. So yeah. But I'm not done yet. That's not nearly enough Nikon stuff yet. No, I have a Nikon authorized dealer clock. I don't even know if you can see down there. Yeah, you can. A little Nikon light table, which, I mean, according to Marcy, most of this stuff hasn't been plugged in in probably 25 years or more. Uh, might need a little TLC, a little love and attention. New light bulb. 
or not. Maybe it'll just work. Bonus. Some signed posters from when Jeff Widener came to talk at our school. Whoops. Hey, now. Probably would help if I zipped this giant chunky zipper. Holy smokes, that's a big zipper. I love that. No? There we go. Ugh. Now it's zipped. I got one more thing. Dun, da, da. Well, it's, it's in a bag, give me a second. Just a second. Hang tight. Let's, uh, let's swap some plugs real quick and then I'll flip it around for you. Oh. Sorry, a little light table. Ta -da. I don't know where I'm going to put all this stuff, but, uh, I mean, that's not like you can just find this stuff anymore. And it, it fits my general aesthetic. Um, I definitely have some spaces in my dark room back in Georgia where I think I can find a home for it without too much trouble. That's my thought, at least. So, I guess I'm back. I'm going to try and keep up with some kind of schedule. No clue what that might look like or what's next. I've tried to shoot probably three or four videos in the last month. And by the time I have time to sit down and edit, they don't feel quite as relevant or interesting, so I've largely abandoned them. But this one should come together pretty quickly and easily. We're gonna try and, I guess, just pick up where we left off. Maybe do a little bit of a video while I take this guy apart, try and ungum it. I still have Steele's camera that has some sticky shutter issues which happens. So we'll see what we can do about getting that rectified. Yeah, that's not a 500th of a second. Um, so yeah, do some lens repair, tinkering videos, get all this stuff put up in my room. Maybe we'll get to talk about my magazine project and the Utah trip once I finish developing all of that film. Maybe we'll talk about developing film. Who knows? But uh, I miss making videos. It's just a bit of a time sink that I haven't been able to justify lately. Because uh, everything happens so much. Yeah, what a year this week has been. I hope everyone's been staying safe, doing well, not obsessively watching the news too much kind of hard not to. So I'm gonna go find space for all of this stuff, maybe hang some of it on the wall, we'll see. Um, and then I've got to get back to work on my magazine. We're doing our rough overall layout and then I need to start working on the words. Uh, what time is it? I don't even know where I put my phone or my watch because I cleaned them up. Um, probably have something I need to go shoot this afternoon if I can get away for long enough and then keep on trucking. Anyways, hope you guys are well, staying safe, and uh, I'll catch you later. See you folks.